It is December 31st, 2021. Last devotion for 2021. And tomorrow we start a brand new year. Which with the Lord <laughs> doesn't mean much when we have eternity ahead. Um, but we count the times. God's given us time here. And we are to redeem it and use it for his glory and honor. I do see a mosquito flying around like we did yesterday. Um, I don't know what it's going to do, but we're going to continue in the word. Those are tuning in. You've just tuned in to Matt and Randy in the morning. Uh, we're here to encourage you in the word that you might be strong in the faith and live victoriously in Christ. Because that's where true victory is found, is when you have that right relationship with the Lord. When you've made him Lord of your life, you can rest at peace, knowing he's got you. We don't worry about the moon. We don't worry about the sun falling out of place. We don't worry about the earth stopping to spin. So why worry about the little things? Let God take care of the things in your life. Trust him. He will work it out for his glory. He made us in his image. He loves us dearly, and He desires good things for us. But good things are not always what we think are good things. You see, God knows what's best. So, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, as we start this morning, Lord, to give you praise, to give you honor, Lord, to thank you that we can actually open up your word, Lord, and, and study together as brothers and sisters in Christ. I ask, Lord, that as we close this year, and open a new year tomorrow. Father, that you be in the closing and in the opening, Lord. That in every, every area of our life, we give you glory and honor. Teach us your word. Holy Spirit, have your way. Let our hearts be ready to receive, our ears to hear, our minds to understand in Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to start with a couple quotes now from C.S. Lewis. Let me put a little note because I do have a, you know, I'm going to say it now so I don't forget. Please, tonight when you hear fireworks um, and all the things going on, keep our soldiers in your prayers. Um, those that are retired, those that are back home, um, anyone who served the armed forces or anyone who's lived in a country that's been in a war zone the fireworks can bring reminders and it can be a tough time so pray for peace for comfort um, those that don't know Jesus that they may come to know the peace that's found in Jesus Christ so remember that today as you're celebrating that to some those sounds can be very disturbing they need our prayers and our love C.S. Lewis says this God's, God loves us not because we are lovable, because He is love, not because He needs to receive, because He delights to give. What a statement. God loves us not because we are lovable, but because He is love. He wants us not to receive things from us, but because he delights in giving. Think of all creation, the beautiful things, those things that you love to see the most, whether it's animals or plants, you know, whatever it is, just sunrise, the sunsets. God he has created all these things for us to enjoy. God loves you and desires to give to you. He delights in giving. Philip Yancey says this, if we comprehend that Christ has done what Christ has done for us, then surely out of gratitude we will strive to live worthy of such great love. We still strive for holiness not to make God love us, but because he already does. So why do we want to live a holy life? A godly life it's because we want to give honor to God who loves us so dearly and so much 
Corey Tim Boone says this, There is no pit so deep that God's love is not deeper still. Think of that. There is no pit so deep that God's love is not deeper still. There is no one so far gone that God's love can't reach them. Don't give up praying for loved ones, for someone you know that just seems like they have just gone so far off the deep end. Continue to pray because God's love can still reach them. C.S. Lewis says this, Though our feelings come and go, God's love for us does not. God's love for us never stops. 1 Peter 5, 6 through 7. This is our response. Like Philip, um, Philip Yancey said that, you know, if we comprehend the love that God has for us, then we live our life in a way to honor him because of his love for us. Not because we're trying to gain anything, but just as a thank you, Lord. He said, and this is 1 Peter 5, 6 through 11, I'm going to read. It says, Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him, steadfast in the faith. And that steadfast means resolutely or dutifully firm and unwavering, loyal. So loyal to the faith, unwavering in your faith, resist him knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. You're not the only one going through rough times. There's others that are going through that in the world, other brothers and sisters in Christ. But may the God of all grace, who called us to his eternal, eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a while, perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To him be the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 this says this, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. And I am going to finish with how we always end. Philippians 4. Except I'm going to read a little bit more of it. Philippians 4, 4 through 8 is what I'm going to read. And this is what it says. And this is what we have to set our heart and mind. that This is what we're going to do. We tried to do it in 2021. And we're going to continue 2022. Striving to be the children of God. That gives God all glory in everything that we do. Verse 4 of Philippians 4 says this, Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace, this is so important, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Set your mind on the Lord. Keep a praise song in your heart and rejoice in the Lord always. I get to say, I'll see you next year, 7 a.m. <laughs> <laughs>